Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a specific legendary animal that you can hunt in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The very first one that you're actually going to come across is the Caledonian Boar. Now there are many legendary animals in here, I think eight to be exact if I'm not mistaken, but you are going to need to be prepared before you fight these animals. And you're going to need to do this quest line specifically before you can actually fight any of the other legendary animals in this game. And this quest line, you are going to pick it up from one of the leaders of the Daughters of Artemis. And that's going to start the quest line for the Caledonian Boar. Many of these animals are going to be high level, which means you're not going to want to take them head on right away at the beginning of the game. You're going to want to level up, you're going to want to get abilities, and you're going to want to take it from there one step at a time. You can do the Cal Caledonian Boar around level 20. I don't recommend going in there around level 14, as you can see, as I am doing, which is pretty ballsy. Um, because even if this boar is three levels behind you, this boar is going to be a pain in the ass and is going to be really hard to fight in general. And like I said, you need to make sure you're prepared. And to make sure you are prepared, I would suggest uh, getting the abilities second win so you can heal venomous or flaming attacks for extra damage and mitigation and overpower attacks with either using your sword or your dagger when fighting these legendary animals. Because basically what an overpower attack is going to do is it's not going to initiate a combo or anything like that, but it's going to unleash like an extremely powerful attack all in one. And at the same time, it's going to heal you. So you're going to be giving out a lot of damage and in return, you're going to be getting healed. So it's like a win-win type of thing. It's a great thing to have. I do recommend having overpower attacks, whether it be your bow or your sword or your daggers. I do highly recommend it being sword and daggers or daggers when you go in there because that's going to be the best way and the best approach to do it. It's going to be really rough if you do this at a low level, like level 14 like I did. But I've put many hours into Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so me going in here at level 14, it was difficult, yes, but I kind of knew what to do and I knew what to expect. I knew all of his moves, I knew how to dodge, etc. Which that's what we're going to be getting into next. So. The Caledonian Boar, you're going to find near the northwest edge of the Sacred Lands of Apollo, which is going to be in northwest Phocos. Phocos. I don't even know how the hell to say that, but you'll know what I mean when you see it on the map. So that's where the, the bear is going to be located. And like I said, you get the quest and pick it up from Daphne. And you have to pick that quest up to get any of the other legendary uh, anim animals in this game. So I do recommend that you do this and you do pick it up. You don't have to pick it up at a level 20. You can pick it up later in the game and it's going to make it a little bit easier if you do that. Because you're going to have a lot more abilities unlocked and a lot more powerful weapons, etc. But you can be ballsy and you can go in there like I do. And give it your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Da -da 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 -da. I mean, you can do that. That's, that's completely fine. But anyways, what you're going to need to worry about the most when you do this fight is dodging. Dodge, 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 dodge. Dodge like you haven't seen the light of day, okay? That's the biggest and most important thing that you can do when fighting this boar. Because this boar is going to have charge attacks. And he's going to be charging up and he's going to charge at you. And on top of these charge attacks, he's going to be spawning little minion boars. And these little minion boars are a pain in the ass. Because he's going to be trying to charge at you and they're going to be trying to attack you. And he spawns like three or four of these motherfuckers while he's trying to attack you on top of it. So, dodge. <laughs> if you need to dodge the little boars to get that slow time and be able to get in as many attacks as possible, do that. Because... That's going to help you in the long run. So those are like the biggest things that you need to look at. Now, the reason why I said second wind is second wind will heal you. So if you need to like back away and back up a little bit from the boar and actually use your bow so you can build up those abilities to get your second wind and to heal yourself, that's where the bow comes in handy. Now, I don't really recommend using the bow as a primary. I recommend it if you need to get space between you and the boar because using it as a primary doesn't really work. Um, it just doesn't. Don't, don't do it. Just do it if you need to get space. You need to build up your abilities. I needed to get space between myself and the boar, and I needed to build up my abilities so I could heal myself, because your heal is going to be the number one important thing that you're going to want to be using. That, and of course, your venomous or your flames. Either one works. I'm using venom here. You can use flames. It doesn't matter. I would just use one of them, because you're going to get that extra damage on this boar, and this boar is a pain in the ass. So you're going to want it. Trust me. That's basically it. That's all you really need to know about this boar going into this fight. He's not the easiest. He's not the hardest. But 
this will be your first legendary animal. And if you can't take him down, well, then you're not gonna be able to take any of the other ones down. I can tell you that, because it just they just get harder as it goes. But yeah, so enjoy the fight. And that's about all the tips I can give you guys. And good luck. Until next time. Thank you.